Okay, today we're going to show you how to install the Stealth 150 to Stealth 300 upgrade kit. By adding an extra 150 gallon a day membrane, you're going to be able to double your flow rate. So, the first thing you want to do is turn off the source water. If you have this thing mounted up on a wall, I recommend taking off the excess tubing and getting it off the wall so you can flip it around backwards and see what you're doing. It's a lot easier to work with that way. So, step number one is to remove the ASOV from your Stealth 150 and everything to the right of it. So essentially you're going to take off the ASOV, the flow restrictor flush kit assembly, and then your links of blue and black tubing, which is your product water and your wastewater. Just go ahead and remove all that. You push your collet in on both your product water line and the wastewater line of your ASOV, and then just slide it out. Next thing you want to do is take the clips that came with your upgrade kit and clip these onto the existing membrane and put them in the middle, kind of wedged in between the two outer clips that are mounted onto your bracket right here. Then you take your new membrane assembly and clip it onto these clips. Now if you'll notice, your new membrane assembly has these links of blue and black tubing with what's called a stem T on them. So just take the quick connect fitting and join the two wastewater lines together. And then you want to join the two product water lines together. Now, take your ASOV that we took off earlier and go ahead and reinstall this by pushing the stems of the corresponding T's into the ASOV. So in other words, where your blue lines meet up, that's your product water, that goes into the blue collet. And where your black lines meet up, which is your wastewater, is going to go into the black collet. So go ahead and push that ASOV back on. Now the next step is you want to take this quarter inch white tubing that was on your existing system. If you'll see this runs from the pre-carbon side up to this first membrane here. You want to take a pair of tubing snips or a sharp knife or a sharp pair of scissors, whatever you have, and cut that in half. Now the next step, if you'll notice on your new membrane assembly, it came with this length of white tubing and a splitter, or a Y, some people call them Y, some people call them splitters. Take this tubing from your bottom membrane and push it into the splitter. So you're essentially joining the two membranes together. And then what's left over from this quarter inch tubing coming from your carbon side, that goes into the bottom of the splitter. That way, when the water travels through your system and comes through the carbon side, it splits off and it goes to both membranes simultaneously. You've now successfully converted your Stealth 150 into a Stealth 300. When you turn your water back on, make sure you flush it for about 20 minutes to rinse out the food grade preservative in your new membrane here. Also, you'll notice this kit came with a white flow restrictor. This is going to be your one-to-one -one flow restrictor for your Stealth 300. Now make sure you hold on to the purple flow restrictor that came with your Stealth 150. That is now going to be the two-to-one flow restrictor for your new Stealth 300. Choose which flow restrictor works best for you, install it, and you're ready to use your new Stealth 300.